a comparison using like or as. She is as brave as a lion. This is the simple one. Now let's go to the second one. Second one is metaphor, a direct comparison without like or as. All the world is a stage. It is from As You Like It by Shakespeare. Third one is for you, allegory, a story with a hidden meaning. Uh, for example, Animal Farm by George Orwell. We will complete uh, 30 today. And foreshadowing, foreshadowing is hints from or it's a clues about events to come. The Raven in the Raven by as Allan Poe. Symbolism, the use of symbols to represent ideas. The Green Light in the Green Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald. A contrast between expectation and reality. This is called irony. The irony of the title is The Gift of the Maggie. It is the work by O. Henry. Alliteration, repetition of initial consonant sounds. Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers. This is a very good tongue twister as well. Hyperbole, exaggeration for emphasis. I am so hungry, I could eat a horse. So here you can see the clear exaggeration of the sentence. Words that imitate the sound they represent, like buzz, hiss, or clank. So if sounds are there, onomatopoeia is there. Personification, giving human qualities to non-human entities. The wind whispered through the trees. If you learn all these literary terms, you can get some good marks. Juxtaposition, placing two things side by side for contrast. The contrast of light and dark in Romeo and Juliet. Oxymoron, a combination of contradictory words. Def uh, defining silence is or bittersweet. So bittersweet you can remember easily. Par paradox, a statement that seems contradictory but is true. Less is more or I can resist. Okay, the next one is allusion. A brief and indirect reference to a person, place, thing or idea. This place is like a garden of Eden. Uh, anaphora, repetition of a word or phrase at the beginning of successive clauses. I have a dream in Martin Luther King. Jo uh, this is by King Jr. Epiphany, a sudden realization or understanding. When Abjur Skouris realizes the true meaning of Okay, here we can go ahead because we are just, you know, completing all these. Ambiguity, the presence of two or more possible meaning in a single passage. Motive, a recurring thing, subject or idea. And if you wish to learn all the, uh, you know, examples, you can pause the video and you can uh, read. Satire, the use of humor, irony or ridicule. To criticize or mock people. Gulliver's Travels by Jonathan Swift. Diction. The choice and use of words and phrase in the speech or writing. Next one is colloquialism. Informal words or expression used in everyday languages like gonna or gotta. You have seen that. These words. Next one is euphemism. Substituting a mild or less direct expression for a harsh one. Passed away instead of death. Died. Hubris. Excessive pride or self-confidence leading to downfall. The hubris of Oedipus in Oedipus Rex by Sophocles. Catharsis. Emotional release and purification. The tragic resolution in Macbeth by Shakespeare. Duke's Ex Machina, a sudden improbable resolution to a story. The appearance of the eagle, okay, it's gone now. Buildings Roman, a novel that follows the moral and psychological growth of a character. The moment of recognition and its discovery, this is called an agnosis, and you should note down these all. Pathetic fallacy, the attribution of human emotion to the nature. They storm reflecting the character's turmoil in King Lear. 
this is the example in media says starting a narrative in the middle of action examples you can go through in the next one the 31 uh, 30th is a figure of a speech in which a part of used to represent the whole it is called cynic dog so hopefully you like the video